Well, with electric vehicle stocks and companies red hot right now, the quest to find and build a solid state battery is also uh, fairly urgent. Essentially, this is a battery that would hold its charge better than uh, the batteries that are on the market currently. And really at the forefront of that is QuantumScape. The CEO, Jagdeep Singh, is joining us now. But now, you guys just reported your earnings recently, but you also talked about a potential breakthrough when it comes to these batteries, and it has to do with ceramic. Um, can you talk us through this development and what it means and, and how far you still have to go then in the development of the battery? Sure, Julie. So um, you recall that in December we announced the performance results of our of our first uh, 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 single layer cells, uh, which uh, were um, sort of um, record breaking results. And the first time in forty five years that somebody had shown a solid state uh, cell that was capable of performing uh, under uncompromised test conditions. So high rates of power, um, you know, uh, long cycle lives, uh, unelevated temperatures, all of course with the capability to deliver very high energy densities or range. Uh, and I think the big question back then was, this is great, this is a breakthrough, uh, but can these guys take that single layer cell and make a multi-layer cell out of that? Because the commercially uh, shipping cell will be a multi-layer cell. Uh, and I think what we were really uh, pleased to see is we reported last week in our earnings call that uh, that we, in fact, uh, had taken four layers and stacked them up together to make a four-layer cell. Uh, and the performance of that four-layer cell was essentially uh, indistinguishable from the performance of our of our um, single layer cells, there was the you know the the um, uh, the multi layer stacking process didn't adversely impact the performance in terms of capacity retention, cycle life, and so on, uh, and that was the big breakthrough because what that means is that we can now continue to scale this technology. Uh, later on this year, we hope to have a, a eight to ten layer cell, and if we hit that milestone, uh, then we'll be on track to deliver actual sample cells to our automotive OEMs. Uh, so that that was a pretty big deal. You, you also asked what what remains to be done and. And one of the things that um, remains to be done is to scale up our production capability to manufacture these cells. Uh, and so we also announced last week that we um, are um, uh, setting up a pre-pilot facility to manufacture these cells right here in California. Uh, and that facility, we're actually in the middle of uh, uh, procuring space as we speak. Uh, that'll be producing cells in 2023 uh, and will produce on the order of 100,000 cells in that factory, which will be enough to actually uh, get cars on real test tracks uh, with these cells. So um, by 2023, we'll actually have uh, cars running on solid state batteries. Uh, they won't be, you know, purchasable in, in, the, you know, in the dealerships, but but they will be uh, demonstrations of the core technology. So those are the two really exciting developments that we reported on last week. Jagdeep, that sounds very important, what you just mentioned. Uh, eight to 10 cells by the second half of this year. You know, I think a lot of folks are still getting to understand your company. And you've had really some big developments uh, in many respects that come out of left field or just come out of the blue. You wake up one morning and you see, wow, the stock's up so much. <laughs> when do you expect to reach that eight layer cells? What, what's the date? Is there is there some timeline you can provide? Yeah, the eight to 10 layer um, uh, cell we, we think is uh, is going to happen by year end. So, um, you know, we, we, um, you know, uh, we we don't want to set expectations too high. I mean, we've been uh, you know fortunate so far. The the goals we've set, we've been able to meet. You know, the single layer cell announcement, the multi layer, this multi layer announcement was uh, was I think ahead of what anybody uh, was expecting. Uh, but I think the the eight layer, eight to ten layer cell, we're, we're targeting by year end. Uh, the key point is, if we make that year end milestone, uh, then we're on track to delivering uh, cells to sample cells to customers in 2022. Uh, and if we can get our pre pilot line production facility uh, running, then we'll actually have um, uh, enough cells to build uh, actual cars, as I mentioned, in 2023. So, uh, you know, uh, if we hit the goals for this year, we're tracking to our longer term goals, which we've uh, you know, already shared with, uh, with the street. Now, Jackie, I did sense on, the, on your earnings call a little while, re more recently, uh, an openness to working with other OEMs outside of Volkswagen. Uh, who are you in talks with? Yeah, so we haven't reported who we're in talks with, but we have said that uh, more than one automotive OEM has tested ourselves successfully. So, uh, we're, you know, um, the, the traction, to be honest with you, the, the interest we're seeing is just is just pretty pretty phenomenal. Uh, you know, as you might expect, um, a, a battery that delivers higher energy density for longer range and faster charging in 15 minutes, safer operations, uh, is going to be of interest to uh, to uh, a lot of players. But we're seeing interest not just from the automotive OEMs. But also other sectors, so clearly you know, things like uh, stationary storage for the grid—that's an important, really important application for batteries. 
uh, obviously consumer electronics, everybody would like longer lasting phones and, and laptops and so on. Uh, and even uh, EV tall uh, applications, you know, vertical takeoff and landing electric aircraft. So, uh, you know, this kind of battery is going to have a really wide uh, applicability across the, the different sectors. Uh, our key challenge is, is to be able to actually manufacture enough of them uh, to meet all that demand. So for now, we're trying to stay pretty focused. We don't want to get too distracted. We, you know, obviously we have this uh, big commitment to Volkswagen. They've been a great partner. We, 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 we love these guys. Um, and, and so we want to deliver what we've committed to them. Uh, but they understand that that's a non-exclusive partnership. They do have the right to be first and we will obviously honor that. Uh, but but uh, they recognize that we are going to be working with other OEMs and other sectors uh, in the fullness of time. Jagdeep, it's great to catch up with you. Thanks so much for being here once again. Jagdeep Singh is the CEO of QuantumScape, and of course, we'll be checking in with you frequently as we follow this really fascinating race uh, when it comes to electric vehicles. Thank you. Always a pleasure, Julie. Thank you.